Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. Today, I'm excited to share with you a very special book. It fits in well with our theme of tales and tales. The star of this book has a very special tale. I hope you enjoy it. The Salamander Room, written by Ann Mazur, illustrated by Steve Johnson. Brian found a salamander in the woods. It was a little orange salamander that crawled through the dried leaves of the forest floor. The salamander was warm and cozy in the boy's hand. Come live with me, Brian said. He took the salamander home. Where will he sleep? His mother asked. I will make him a salamander bed to sleep in. I will cover him with leaves that are fresh and green and bring moss that looks like little stars to be a pillow for his head. I will bring crickets to sing him to sleep and bullfrogs to tell him goodnight stories. And when he wakes up, where will he play? I will carpet my room with shiny wet leaves and water them so he can slide around and play. I will bring tree stumps into my room so he can climb up the bark and sun himself on top. And I will bring boulders that he can creep over. He will miss his friends in the forest. I will bring salamander friends to play with him. They will be hungry. How will you feed them? I will bring insects to live in my room and every day I will catch them and feed the salamanders and I will make little pools of water on top of the boulders so they can drink whenever they are thirsty. The insects will multiply and soon there will be bugs and insects everywhere. I will find birds to eat the extra bugs and insects and the bullfrogs will eat them too. Where will the birds and the bullfrogs live? I will bring trees for the birds to roost in and make ponds for the frogs. Birds need to fly. We can lift off the ceiling. They will sail out in the sky, but they will come back to my room when it's time for dinner because they will know that the biggest, juiciest insects are here. But the trees, how will they grow? The rain will come through the open roof and the sun too. And vines will creep up the walls of my room. Ferns will grow under my bed. There will be big white mushrooms and moss like little stars growing around the tree stumps that the salamanders climb on. And you, where will you sleep? I will sleep on a bed under the stars with the moon shining through the green leaves of the trees. Owls will hoot and crickets will sing. And next to me, on the boulder, with its head resting on soft moss, the salamander will sleep. Reading this beautiful book brought back a wonderful nature memory. When my boys were little, we encountered a salamander in the woods. As the boys decided to try to bring him home, he ran up my one son's arm, up underneath the sleeve of his shirt and was on his way. My other son grabbed him by the tail and pulled. The rest is history. Find yourself a book or go online and look at the special thing that salamander tails can do. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. 
keep reading.